thanks for watching wise monkey please uh, share and subscribe subscribe for a future lottery that uh, there will be some giveaway also uh, please look at the uh, description section of this video where some uh, important links will be given which could be useful for future now this vehicle has a new brand new battery actually and if we try to start it all it does is basically is dead so I'll show you in a second so as I try to start it turn it on it's dead no sound at all full battery but no sound so once again yeah so what it means is usually that <clears throat> there is full battery uh, but engine doesn't turn over no crank means there is uh, no power to the starter motor so one way to test is is uh, directly connect a booster cable or something to from the positive of the battery terminal to the positive of the starter motor and it should crank if it doesn't then starter motor is faulty and also you can check if there's voltage when you're trying to start it if there's voltage going to the starter motor or not but there's a easier way to just figure it out without any uh, voltmeter you know all this kind of uh, hassle so <clears throat> this saved me a few times when I was uh, I stuck I could actually help few people this way too that uh, I'll show you in a minute open the hood so basically open the hood and find out where the starter motor is usually it's between engine and transmission right there at the front or back of the engine and get a hammer and tap a little bit at the starter motor uh, not the solenoid on top of it the starter motor itself do not tap a lot but you can hammer a little bit on the starter motor and as you hammer someone else has to try to start it start the vehicle uh, if you're all alone then you can still hammer it a little bit come back try to start it whether it works or not you can see that so as you uh, as <clears throat> someone hammering on the uh, starter motor and uh, someone else trying to start it it should start so I'll show it in a minute so in this vehicle the starter motor is right here not hard to see it's kind of far down there the sides right there there's the solenoid so basically I'm gonna this is the solenoid this is the solenoid and this is the starter motor so I'm gonna tap on that side tap 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 as someone else will I'm going to tap on that side and someone else will try to crank it. I'll try to show. Right? So tap it like this and it should start. Let me see if it's uh, cranky or not. So once again. In the starter, there's a positive and a negative. Positive and a negative terminal. Make sure those kind of both of them are connected. If the 
often the negative one comes off if that's off it will not work just put it back so anyway I'm gonna hammer with this thing again start try it so it worked this is how it is so the starter is gone shut it down yeah so the starter motor is gone in this one it has to be replaced or it can be actually rebuilt with the new starter brush I'll give link for that it's only three four dollars as opposed to hundred hundred fifty dollars to buy a new starter uh, starter brush can be rebuilt to take the starter motor out disconnect the battery take the two three hole bolt, down bolts out pull the starter out put the new one in okay hope this helps